here at the Cipriani for the Museum of Chinese in America's 18th Annual Legacy Awards Gala, this year honoring three icons and innovators whose achievements and philanthropic contributions attest to the vastness of the Chinese American experience. This year, MOCA is celebrating honorees Tyrus Wong, Theodore T. Wong, and the Victor and William Fung Foundation for their philanthropic contributions in the fields of animation, finance, and education. Tyrus Wong, who turned 104 this year and came all the way from his home in California, is best known as the lead artist for Disney's Bambi. It was his concept work which employed elements of Chinese traditional painting that inspired the film's unique look. In spite of his extremely warm welcome, Tyrus Wong is surprisingly modest about his life's achievements. Oh, it's wonderful. It's really a surprise, big surprise. A documentary about the life, art, and impact of Tyrus Wong, called Brush Strokes in Hollywood, is currently in post-production. His award was presented by Audrey Zhang, the 11-year-old national winner of the 2014 Doodle for Google Art Contest. We have honorary um, Mr. Tyrus Wong, who many of us, um, I mean, including myself, didn't know was a Chinese-American who illustrated the uh, iconic film, Disney film, Bambi. And this is why we do this, and that's why this event is so important, is to capture those stories. The Victor and William Fung Foundation is a Hong Kong registered charity known for its philanthropic impact across 45 countries, promoting the development of leadership skills and global competency through university scholarship programs, exchange programs, think tanks, and education institutes. From humble beginnings, Theodore T. Wong is the advisory director at Goldman Sachs, since 2007, he has served as co-head and co-chief of various One Delta trading branches, most recently serving as global co-head of One Delta trading since 2012. He is additionally involved in many other projects, including service to the community and non-profit organizations committed to education for the underprivileged. Neither of my parents went to college. In fact, neither finished high school. But they give me unconditional support and had unyielding demand to do well in school. I could never have imagined that I would be where I am today. As MOCA looks forward to celebrating its 35th year in January, it is simultaneously looking back on its past three decades of preserving and celebrating the Chinese-American legacy and on the far-reaching impact of Chinese in America. MOCA is additionally welcoming its new president and director, Nancy Yao Masbach, who will assume her post in February. The evening was emceed by film and theater actor B.D. Wong and CNBC host Melissa Lee. Our work is around telling the untold stories in the making of America. And this event is a special occasion that, you know, we like to gather everyone to basically continue doing that great work. For more videos about our community's many icons and innovators, check out our website at SinovisionEnglish.net. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I'm Lonnie Nelson.